analyzing my every touch in Sunday League in the hope that I get better. First touch of the game, ball gets played out to me on the wing. I take a touch that moves the ball in an entire nanometer in front of me, but then do well to set myself up to make this pass with my dominant left foot. Unfortunately, my dominant left foot sends the ball straight into the shins of their opposing defender, and not our forward who is in a decent pocket of space. Looking at this again, we can see this play was cursed from the beginning. When I receive this ball, I need to be taking a much more confident first touch. I should be taking it directly toward goal, rather than lightly stroking it a couple inches in front of me. My choice to put this on my left foot also ends up hurting this play, as it severely limits my options to just Linden here. If I had taken this with my right, it would have opened up the chance to cut it back to multiple of my teammates who are all in decent positions. Here we are playing out from a corner and trying to build a counterattack. Our forward is dropped deep and plays the ball out to me on the wing. I slow things down initially, but then play the ball back out to Linden and begin making a run. But their winger does well to track me, and Linden doesn't see me as an option. Since we are trying to build the attack, I think I needed to just take my space here and drive this down the line, rather than look like someone who just completed an Ironman, when all I've done so far is pass the ball. Bad. I'm 25 years old, I should not move like this yet. Next play. My right back does a great job to fend off his attacker and save this ball from going out. I chase down the loose ball and just play it back to him first time. This was a decent decision. I couldn't really turn with the pace of the ball, so playing it back and repositioning is better than attempting something that could lose us possession. Here, one of their wingers plays a soft pass that I managed to intercept. I instantly play it out to my mid Matias and start making my run. He plays the through ball, and I take the shot with my right, which ends up earning us a corner. This was a decent play. Looking back at the moment of my shot, I could have potentially cut this back for Linden here, although trying to make that pass with my right would have most certainly put me in the ER. The biggest thing I should have done differently here is the shape of my run. As you can see here, my run ends up being a straight line, placing me far away from the goal. It also causes me to have to slow down because if I kept going, I would be offside. A much better option would have been to bend my run as soon as I get to this defender, getting goal side of him, and then peeling off the second the ball was played, getting me on a much more direct path toward goal. That would require any sense of agility and and coordination, however. So, we'll take this. Ball comes out to my mid Kirk, who clears the ball up the line, and it ends up being a perfect pass to me. So I then take this opportunity to head the ball out to the opposition, to ensure that we don't accidentally end up dominating the possession. Cause that would be stupid. So here, passing this ball to my teammate is actually the best option, and not heading it out to the ghost of Christmas past. I also could have just brought this down and reassessed my options, but history has shown us that Bringing it down isn't exactly my strong suit, and neither is this sport in general. Here is another clip of me whipping out my iconic skill move, uh, not scanning, and then just running into a brick wall. Uh, on the PlayStation, that's going to be R2 plus wiggling the right stick in any direction with a five-star player. On Xbox, it's going to be get a real console, you fucking peasant. After witnessing Prime Ronaldinho, I go on to be Prime Virgil van Dijk and clear this corner with authority. We move on to probably one of my best touches in this entire series. A corner comes in, which flies by everyone and comes out to me. I immediately bring this down and take my touch down the line. I then keep driving it until I see a defender close me down. I proceed to play it out to my forward with a bit of a strong pass and we unfortunately lose possession. This was a great confident play up until the pass. I took my first touch into a great space, kept moving in the right direction, and released at a decent moment. This pass just needed to be softer, so that it was easier to control. Next play. They play the ball out to one of their mids. He takes a fantastic touch to beat our defender and plays a fantastically weighted through ball to their forward who takes a great touch toward goal and sneaks it past our goalie to make it 1-0. You just gotta commend him. Here, my right back Nick picks up the ball and moves toward the line. He ends up laying it off to me and I take my touch out of traffic and head toward the middle. I then get my head up and spot the run of our other winger Rafa and try sending in a through ball, but it gets intercepted by their defender. This was pretty good. My movement to get out of this congestion was great. But instead of this long ball, I think a better option would have been to just lay this off to Kirk or Matias and build our play with simple passes rather than going for this ambitious one. Next play. I'm standing centrally with my back to goal at a half turn. Matias plays the ball out to me. I take a decent first touch away from my defender and into a pocket of space. They close me down quickly, but I manage to flick a ball through aimed for my winger Rafa. Unfortunately, the ball goes just a bit behind him and he's not able to get to it. This was okay, although I think John would have been the better option here as he has the clearest path to goal. Moving on, Derek throws the ball to John who flicks the ball out to me with style. I believe mockery is the greatest form of flattery, so I hop on the trend and attempt to flick too. Unfortunately, much like inbreeding, every copy ends up being worse in quality. I'm not sure what I was trying to do here, but my best option would have been to potentially chest it down into this space and just have a good old whack at it. Here the ball is played out to me by John. I back that ass up real good and then spin out of this tackle with a clear path to goal. 
Unfortunately, meritocracy is a lie, and this son of a bitch pulls into my shirt, I will destroy you and all that you are worth. Okay, so I lost my cool a little bit, but when you're me, and you do one cool thing a game, having it literally tugged out of existence was frustrating. I get his perspective of making the tactical foul, but like, let's be honest here. It's just me. I'm gonna fuck it up. It's nice that he held such a high opinion of me though. Very flattering. Also, here's a quick clip of us making out. I mean making out. I mean making out. Because being actually mad in Sunday League is cringe. Moving on from my roid rage, they have another corner. It once again goes all the way out to me, and I think I try to clear it here, but instead just throw out my kneecap and pass the ball straight to the opponent. Epic. We move on to the second half now, where they once again have a corner, they send it in, and this guy hits a stunning looping header that finds the back of the net, making it 2-0. Good. Moving on. Kirk clears the ball out to me. I have a great option of just handing this off to Matias and moving up the field. Now do I do this? Nope. Cruyff turn, bitch. Right toward a random part of the field with no teammates open. I end up doing a good job of protecting this ball with my body, but ultimately I just kind of get nowhere. Bad. This was bad. Here we have yet another goal from Sunset. The goalie blasts the ball up the field, it skips over our first defender, we get a touch on it, but their mid does a great job of flicking this out first time, we once again let it bounce, and their forward beautifully chips our keeper, 3-0. Existence is pain. Moving on, Nick plays a great ball out to me in the middle. I take a good first touch and then turn and begin driving it down the center of the field. I make it a solid 20 yards before ultimately deciding enough is enough, it's time for me to hit a game breaker. Do you uh, know what a game breaker is? Uh, it was from a game called FIFA Street that I played on the PS2. Um, it's basically where after doing a bunch of skill moves, you get to like press R2, L2 at the same time and then your guy like powers up. Even the keeper finds my attempt amusing. Haha, <laughs> laugh all you want. There's still time for us to come. And that was the end of the game. We lose 3-0. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And let's get better together.